The call six investigators are closely watching this case. It will be several more days before investigators release the official cause of the accident. And as Chris said, the driver of the bus told police that his brakes failed. Call six investigator Rafael Sanchez joins us now with the latest development. Uh, still so many unanswered questions tonight. It could be another week before we know the official cause of what led to the crash involving a 1986 Prevost bus. City and state investigators spent another day reviewing the wreckage in a secure location. We stopped it at the home of the driver, Dennis Maurer, but no one came to the door. Maurer allegedly told police he was unable to stop his bus from hitting a median because his brakes failed. Striking the median caused the bus to turn on its side. The call six investigators have learned that these types of buses are required to undergo an annual inspection. That involves a review of 13 key mechanical areas, including the brake system. Under that section alone, a mechanic has a checklist of 11 items to inspect. The paperwork is not filed with any agency, but is required to be on board if the bus is pulled over. The driver must also get a medical certificate proving he's fit to operate the bus. We are waiting for investigators to tell us more about the bus's last inspection. And that and more detailed information could be released in the next seven days. Now, our Chartered buses run by churches uh, regulated any differently than those operated by private businesses? Those that are operated by the commercial industry, the, the drivers must keep a log that's sort of a record of everything that they do on that bus. For example, those that drive for a commercial business can only drive for 10 hours and must rest for 8 hours. So there's a much more difference in regulation. So there is a difference, and those that operate church buses are not required to follow those rules. All right. So much more to come in this investigation. More to come. Thank you, Raphael.